Okay, we're gonna do some crate games with this little guy, Fig. Um, essentially, one, feed him in the crate. Two, make other good things happen in the crate. So you brought a new toy home. We're gonna do choose, Kong time, do it in the crate. Um, three, do the crate carry, which is essentially just where we drop some food randomly in the crate and leave it for the puppy to find. So, uh, Aurora, please. Um, this is outside of our actual crate time. Crate games help build comfortability in the crate. It kind of turns it into a trick. So this is a clicker game. Uh, I'm gonna load up with my food. And I just use the regular dog food for treat fairy and for crate games. Hi. Good job. Go to your room. How do you get in there? How do you do it? There you go. Look. Good job. So click when you went in. There's a treat. If he won't go all the way in, we click at the moment that he does the best he can do. Look. So I'm clicking before he steps out of the crate. At some point, he will start to figure out that staying inside the crate, so there we go, is earning food. So you notice the door's still open. So now what I'm going to do is just continue to add duration and distance. So as he gets better at this, I'm going to start moving further and further away from the crate. As he remains calm, I will continue to click and reward. So I'm attempting to click and reward before he gets upset. So if he's crying, I've moved too far or moved too fast. Now this is outside of bedtime or when we're actually using the crate. If you have to use the crate before you've built this to a usable point, definitely use a Kong or some other yummy. Put them in there, let them chew it, walk away, go run your errands or whatever you're trying to do. That was pretty good duration that time. So this time I'm gonna step away. So I'm on the other end of the room. He's still in his crate, he can see me. And actually seeing me tends to make it a little bit more difficult. Good duration here. 
he's not showing signs of distress, so I'm not clicking yet. Remember, I'm clicking preemptively, so I want to click before he gets upset. Good. So, <clears throat> this guy's already fairly comfortable in the crate. We've been using the crate about a week now, um, and actually using it till he goes in when I leave and go to work. Uh, with a brand new puppy, you cannot progress this as quickly as I am right now. Take your time. Click before they get upset. Click and reward. You can assume when I say click, I also mean treat. Click equals treat. So this time I'm going to actually leave the room and let's see what happens. Too acidic. He did well with the lemonade, so that's kind of surprising. Okay. Um, so he's doing really well. That was decent duration, and I was completely out of sight in a different room. So we'll click, open the door, and let's see, that was seven minutes, so that's a decent uh, session. We could go once more, but we'll quit while we're ahead, and that's a key tenet of dog training. Just don't do more than you need to do. All right, um, let me know if you have questions.